No, I think Gordon Brown is just grandstanding. I mean, but he doesn't really have anything to say uh, in offering solutions to the crisis. Uh, clearly, there is an inflation crisis at the moment. But I mean, him, uh, Boris Johnson, Rishi Sunak, Liz Truss, not, none of them have got solutions. But none of them are actually being honest and telling us why we have the crisis. So there's three reasons. One is the obsession with net zero and trying to dismantle our perfectly good energy infrastructure and rely on wind turbines and solar panels to provide energy. It's simply not going to happen. And that's, you know, raising the price of energy. It's going through the roof. Uh, the other thing is the lockdown, uh, and that wasted £400 billion. Rishi Sunak is responsible for that. So, yeah, he's talking about cutting inflation in the future, but he's the one who's responsible for creating the inflation now, or a big part of it, because he's increased the money supply by 25%. So that is going to feed through into inflation. Nothing we can really do about about that. Um, and the other thing is the obsession with prolonging the war with Ukraine, which was, um, sorry, with Russia in Ukraine, uh, which was completely avoidable. And that, of course, is having knock on effects uh, with the price of energy as well, because there's less Russian gas. So, what would you to, do, David? To, if I just, just finish for just a, a minute. Uh, so, there's less Russian gas coming through into Europe, which means there's more of a demand for uh, gas, which we would have. So, that's going to push up the prices more. So, um, two things we can do, uh, stop the war with Russia, de-escalate, sit round the table, uh, end the situation, get back to normal relations, and then we're going to have that pressure taken off our energy prices, and then abandon the whole net zero nonsense, which we don't need, because carbon dioxide is not a harmful gas, and the whole of this net zero ideology is based around the premise that carbon dioxide is going to harm the planet, when it's not, we don't need it. Well, there's a lot of scientists that would absolutely disagree with you. And if I had a climate scientist on here now, they'd be probably jumping out their yeah. chair in I'd, rage. I'd love that to you... talk to a climate scientist. Well, um, a lot of my viewers would agree with what you're saying about um, pressing, certainly pressing pause on net zero. Um, but it, we do all have to be clear. This was in the 2019 Tory manifesto. So everyone that voted the Tories in, they did actually vote for that. Um, yeah, well, I think the reason that pe people voted for Tor the Tories and Boris was because of his mantra, his three-word mantra, get Brexit done. And probably most people didn't read the 50 or 100-page manifesto, which was in there, but they never really mentioned it up front. So, you know, unfortunately, you do have to read all the small print in the manifesto. So it was there, absolutely. But I don't agree with it. I didn't vote for them. And I think now uh, people voted for that, get Brexit done. But now we've got this net zero horror, which is pushing energy prices and inflation through the roof. How can you say that when there are, you know, we are in a climate catastrophe? We are not in a climate well, catastrophe. Well, I'm sorry, There David. is no climate crisis. Really? Absolutely. What, there so is the no floods... climate emergency. Well, there's always been floods. I mean, there was a massive, not like there was a massive flood in now. 1953, which w wiped out the centre yes, of I London know. and Canby Island. Skated. We haven't had anything like people that. People skated on the tent. Look, look I don't deny that the, the temperatures have gone up over the last two years. And why have the years. temperatures gone up? Well, look, temperatures have gone up since the start of the Industrial Revolution, absolutely, from 14.0 degrees Celsius mm -hmm. to 14.7 degrees Celsius. Not a very big rise Everybody, over 250 every years. Everybody, every single... That's after the end of the mini ice age where temperatures were especially low anyway. So um, now there is no climate emergency, but we're actually damaging the environment for the climate ideology. For example, Drax has stopped burning coal, but they're now cutting down trees in North America and they're shipping across uh, wood pellets to burn instead of coal, which is harming the environment on the other side of the world. We don't need to do that.